She is 69 years old. She does have diabetes, but otherwise she does seem fairly healthy. Right now, conservatives on the court hold a 6-3 majority. It was 5-4 when former Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg died. This is, as you know, when former President Trump was in office. Trump then appointed Justice Amy Comey Barrett. It widened the conservative lead. So that's a lesson that Democrats seem to be keen on preventing. Let's talk about it. Joining me now, associate research scholar and lecturer in politics and public affairs at Princeton University, Lauren Wright, and host of the Aggressive Progressive podcast and the syndicated Chris Hahn radio show, News Nation political contributor, Chris Hahn. All right, Chris, I do have to start with you because I feel like you're probably chomping at the bit here. Are you getting suspicious <laughs> with all of these headlines? She is only 69 years old, and I feel like these are apples to oranges. We were talking about a supermajority scenario back then. This is different, is it not? What a way to end the week, talking about the imminent death of a beloved legal scholar who rose from New York City public schools to the highest court <laughs> in the land. Great topic. I'm so glad you brought me in for this. Uh, look. Uh, I am not concerned about Joe Biden winning, but the Senate map, as I'm sure Dr. Lauren Wright will tell you, is a very difficult one for Democrats. They're going to lose West Virginia, and then they've got a tough race in Ohio, a tough race in Montana, and several other difficult races around the country that they need to win to hold the United States Senate. And if they don't hold the United States Senate, the chances of getting judges confirmed become very iffy. But that said, I wish her a long life. I hope she stays on the court for another 20 years. Uh, she's a great New Yorker, and I'm very proud of her. Okay, Lauren, your response to that, do you feel like there are other motives when you look at the Senate races? Is that why? Well, gosh, I think you've stumbled on something that Chris and I might actually agree on, Liz. 69 is not 82. It's definitely not 87, which is what Justice Ginberg's was when she died. And, you know, just because someone is dealing with diabetes doesn't mean they can't manage it with probably the best health care that's available to anyone in the U.S. And, you know, it's not just the Senate map that's a really big risk here for Democrats should they go down this very, very ill-advised path. It's the Senate hearing of another proposed justice where Republicans get to ask on national television What's the definition of a woman? What's DEI? Should students be able to call for the genocide of Jews? These are all questions Democrats should not want to give Republicans an opportunity to answer, not even to mention the fact that Supreme Justices are not perfectly predictable. Gorsuch and Kavanaugh have sided with the liberal wing on some surprising issues that Trump was not happy about. And so you might get someone that's more moderate than Sotomayor or, or less predictable. But, you know, even if there were some type of a miracle, Chris, and we can talk, and you brought up the Senate, so I do want to bring up just simply the process of nominations. Let's just say in this hypothetical world, she retires tomorrow. It's not like nominations are done overnight. So I'm just wondering where this effort is coming from. I think people uh, on the left sometimes panic unnecessarily about all sorts of things. Uh, and this is no different than other panics that happen. Uh, there, there have been panics about Joe Biden. I don't know if they're as panicked today as they were two weeks ago. And I'm sure they'll panic again sometime over the summer. Uh, but I think that's probably where it comes from. Democrats have high anxiety. That said, if there's a need for a confirmation between now and the election, just like Donald Trump got it done with his majority in the Senate, the Democrats will get it done if the opportunity arises naturally or otherwise. Okay, Lauren, we only have about 20 seconds. Your response to that? Well, I'll just make a very quick, unpopular pitch that gerontocracy is sometimes a better thing than we give it credit for. We need the experience of leaders that are older. <laughs> I agree. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.